Yeah, this was so hard the first time. Let's do it a second time and see if Nai can do it. Hmm. Bink. Do both the moons? Oh, I will. I forgot for a moment that I did not have my uh, hat. No! Oh, I did not time that right. Oh, no, I had that. I'm going to have it. I just forgot for a moment that I don't have my hat. So I sat down there for a second, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to throw my hat at it. Oh, wait. Right, don't have my hat. Cannot do hat jumps. Ugh, okay. I got this. I got this. I just gotta remember. I don't have a hat. Cannot do hat jumps. This is gonna happen. I promise you. I did it again! I did it again! I, like, did... That time I actually tried to long jump, and I didn't get the long jump to, to actually hit. Which is still just me fucking up, but still... You, you, you gotta understand how much I don't care about not, like, have, or about 11 long jumps in a row. I just gotta line myself upright, and I didn't do that because I was trying to go too fast because I was worried about the, the uh, bonsai bill. <sighs> okay. Camera, please. Yep, I do not have the cap. You are exactly right. Uh, okay. That's fine. I'll just get caught on the on the edge. Okay. Cannot see what I'm doing. Ugh! Cannot see what I'm doing! And I'm not worried about the jumping. Like, that time, literally, the bonsai bill was in the camera, so I couldn't time my jump. Part of the problem here is that you actually gain speed when you uh, are long jumping, so I have to mess with my jumps a little bit. No! God damn it. Uh, Kathy is the hat's name. I was almost there, actually. Okay. That was weird. That was very weird. That was supposed to be just the normal jump that I've made, like, a dozen times already. There we go. See, that second jump, Mario goes so much further because he has all of that speed. Oh, come on! That was the last jump! That was it. Oh, that's depressing. That was new. Give me my roll instead of my next long jump. Same thing there. Why is why am I suddenly rolling instead of long jumping? I mean that was good, but I I figured I would have had this like 5 minutes ago. I don't actually feel like this is that hard. It's just I'm screwing it up.
There we go. Will we see that coin counter to zero? Uh, I mean, not from deaths. You might see it go to zero when I go buy shit. As I said, I didn't, didn't think it was that hard. I was just not timing it right. That's just a timing issue. Like, there's a lot of times when people are like, man, this is so hard, and I, like... It's it's because of the timing issue and they're not realizing that it's the timing issue. Is there a moon rock? I doubt it. There is, however, a painting. Oh, that's right. We have art that we have to go do. Like, I feel like in a, in a lot of situations... Hello. Like, I've seen a lot of people, like, talk about stuff that's really, really hard. Hey, SMO. How's it going, David? Um, okay. Apparently, Yoshi decided it, he wanted, uh, the... The lava? Um, okay. How am I supposed to deal with that? Okay, that's not good. Well, might as well just go die then. Glad that you're doing well. But you like, I've watched, I, I, I've been watching like, um, uh, I've been watching some people play like, uh, Mario Maker, and they've been playing some, um, troll levels, right? And they're talking like, man, I wonder if, um, you know, I wonder if going through this door is going to get me screwed, or if going through this door is going to get me screwed. And it's like, just go through the damn door. And if you die, oh well, you have unlimited lives. It's not as if you're losing anything. And so I feel like it, it's kind of a similar thing in something like this. Um, you know, it's someone going, man, this is going to be so hard. It's like, it really isn't. Just identify the issue and, and then fix it, right? Doing Bowser Race? Is that something I've already done, or is that something later on? But I like I feel like a lot of people are really bad at identifying what's difficult in like a level or a situation. And they go on about it, about like, man, this is really, really hard. It's like. No. It's it's it you're just not identifying the issue and fixing it. The idea the issue with me in that level, and what made that level hard for me for a minute, was just that I was not timing my jumps right. I just had to get the timing down. There we go. Oh, it's the Koopa race? Oh, oh, the Koopa race on uh, on Bowser's Castle? Is that what you're talking about? Uh, I'm missing fruit. Where am I missing fruit? Oh. Okay. Yeah, I actually had a lot of fun with that one, but I felt it was really easy. Oh, did I already... Did I screw this up? No, no, I got it. Okay. Still missing fruit, however. Where am I missing this? Oh. Oh. How am I? You're grind. Oh, you're, you're. Are you trying to get like a, a really top time or something? What type of game, what what if the game gives you zero direction or throws in a new mechanic without telling you for a boss fight? I mean, A, you, boss fights typically come with new mechanics that you haven't learned before. That's what makes them a new and interesting boss. Um, and you should, oh crap, I am bad. Oh, that's me being bad. Um, you should expect that in a new boss fight, that you're gonna have a new mechanic Maybe something you've never seen before, and you're going to have to learn how to deal with it. That's part and parcel with bosses in general. Um, go back to the door, but I want to go through this door. Okay, well, I want I want to go in that bit of Pepto-Bismol. Um, but yeah, like, you should be used to games throwing new mechanics at you out of nowhere. Uh, like, I play a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. So Final Fantasy XIV, 
online MMO. Okay, I want to say that makes perfect sense. I want to say that's Peach's... Uh, that, 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 yeah, that's Mushroom Kingdom. That's Peach's Castle. No doubt about it. That's w Lake Kingdom. So much art and rabbits. But in Final Fantasy XIV, like, we continuously get new bosses. And the new bosses, on a regular basis... Like, ev almost every single boss in the game comes with a new mechanic, a new setup, something like that. Same with almost every dungeon. And you, you just have to... The game does not tell you about it either. You just have to kind of learn and figure it out as you go along. That's just what the game is expecting of you as a, uh, as a player. Okay, that's easy. That's Cascade Kingdom. So, like, it's one of those things that you, you just have to kind of expect that. And just kind of learn to roll with that. But I think it's... Uh, okay. That's Metro Kingdom. But that's something you should expect to do. So I, I don't think, like, a new mechanic is something that... You know... Sh like, is something that should give you trouble. As for Zero Direction... I keep on forgetting that you don't jump on Yoshi's head to ride him. As for Zero Direction, I don't know. I play a lot of games that do not give you much in the way of direction. Uh, I'm assuming the lava is going to start rising as soon as I start going up. Okay. Do I have to abandon Yoshi? No. What am I doing? What am I doing wrong here? That's what I'm doing wrong. Oh, crap. Yeah, I'm dead. Okay. Am I good at controlling no Yoshi? Not yet. Not yet. I'm getting there. I kind of forgot. I kind of forgot about flutter jumping, to be honest. But it's it's something I had to learn just as a store manager. Um, I had to learn as a store manager that one of the things you have to do is you have to learn to identify uh, opportunities. You have to learn to identify where you have trouble, and then fix that opportunity. That's just something you have to do, and a lot of people are really bad at it. So what they'll say is, this is really ho- oh. Not good, not good, not good, not good, not good, not good. Very not good, very not good. The fact that the freeze frame happened right here is very- okay. Was very not good. Um, so a lot of people go, man, this- this was unbalanced, or- crap. They'll, they'll say, like, this was not balanced, or this is too hard. And what really ends up happening in a lot of cases- And keep on, I- I do the exact same thing. Um, especially when I'm, like, frustrated and not thinking clearly. But in a lot of cases, what it is, is no, you're screwing up something, and you need to think about what you're doing and figure out how to fix it. So is it that you're just not understanding the boss's pattern? That's maybe one thing. Are you not, uh, platforming correctly? Are you not, like, doing this thing that the game expects you to be doing? And if that's the case, then that's on you, not on the game. But also, that tells you exactly what to fix. So, for example, freaking learning how to use Yoshi and learning to double jump, or flutter jump, or like uh, David brought up on that race in... Um, in the Forest Kingdom, was a, hey, you need to learn how to do this uh, new movement type that you're not aware of. You know, learn to use this movement type. Uh, okay, that makes sense. I don't know how to get up there, but that does make sense. 
Do you do anything? No? Okay, what are we doing today? Ah, okay. Okay, actually, this one, how do I... Ah, okay. That was, Okay, that was a long jump game. Thank you. I pressed the button to long jump. I mean, evidently I didn't, but, you know, I did. There we go. Oh, I'm bad. I am a bad player of this game. Oh, really? We're doing this? Okay. I have it right here. Is this good? Is this good? This is good. I mean, you don't have this game. I've been playing this game for... A couple of dozen hours now like there there's a difference between oh give me that okay there's a definite difference between you and me in terms of uh, ability just because I've had a lot of practice at this point let's see where does this, does this let me do this yes it does you go away can I make this I can cool Okay, so how am I... Can I just jump on you? Yes, I can. Oh, come on! Come oh, that knocked me off? Really? Really? Come on. Freaking ridiculous, man. Okay, that's fine. Absolutely fine. I mean, you're a little bit right. Okay, that sucked. Oh, that sucked so much just there. Okay. That was really weird. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you, Wonder Girl. I, I've done, I've played a lot of games that have had that mechanic, the, you know, sacrifice party members to get stuff done mechanic. Uh, I'm never sure how I feel about that mechanic, to be honest with you. I mean, it makes sense that it's a mechanic that kind of makes you think about things. Also, hi, Blue Iris. It's a mechanic that makes you think about things, certainly. Um, okay, that sucks. Okay, there's one. What? Come on, dude. He was down. Urgh. I mean the story the storyline in those are always kind of interesting. I think like I uh, Hand of Fate 2 did one. Oh come on. Hand of Fate 2 did one that was mildly uh interesting. Especially when you got your party members back afterwards. Cuz it made it feel like there was actually a good reason for it. Has everyone been uh I mean I'm pissed off at my ISP. I'm actually going to go get the heal real quick. So, as I've mentioned before, I am in the process of moving. Um, we've gotten a lot of stuff over to the new house, but because I do, like, I work online, and I work from home, and I have to have internet, basically. So, I can't actually leave. I can't move. Um, oh, come on, dude! Like, right underneath my feet, really? Um, ISP, Internet Service Provider. So, depending on where you are in the United States, Cox, Comcast, Spectrum, so on and so forth. Um... 
I don't know. I, I don't think I can actually safely make this jump. Because of the way this is arranged now. I, I was wrong. Nope, never mind. I was right. Could not safely make that jump. God, he gets back up as I'm jumping. <laughs> um, I guess I jumped earlier. But, uh, yeah, so um, I have to have internet. And so last Thursday, damn it. Last Thursday, I called them and I was like, hey, I need to transfer my internet service to this new house. You know, what's the soonest you can, you know, set me up? And they're like, well, the soonest we can probably set you up is going to be, like, next Thursday. There's nothing sooner. So I said, you know what? Fine. If that's the earliest you got, the earliest you got. So that was today. So my, uh, my, uh, appointment was from 3 to 5. And so I'm like, okay. So I took off work from 3 to 5. And then I, you know, got some stuff together, take over to the new house, set things up, you know, kind of get myself ready to make this easier. Um, I'm just going to ignore this for now. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's super bad. Okay. Um, so I took off from three to five and I was, vi uh, okay. That's a thing that happened. Um, I was there, you know, and then... While I'm waiting, you know, I'm talking to my grandparents, I'm putting stuff away in the new house, just kind of doing my stuff, right? Five o'clock rolls around, I have not heard from the dude. There we go. I have not heard from this guy, so I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. So I call them, and I say, okay, you know, I have not heard from my technician, um, what's going on? And they're like, oh, he's running a little bit late. His current estimated time of arrival is, uh... His current estimated time of arrival is 5.02. Oh, wait, hold on. He just updated it 5.48. I said, okay, you know what? No big deal. I can wait. So I'm sitting there waiting. 5.48, or 5.30 rolls around. I get an email saying he's on his way. I'm like, great. Dude's on his way. It's going to be fantastic. I'm just going to be a little bit late for, uh, late for the stream. 6 o'clock rolls around. Nothing. 6.15 rolls around, nothing. And I called him, like, guys, I just called you guys. We confirmed that this dude is on his way. I haven't seen hide nor hair of him. And they said, oh, uh, he left a message saying that uh, you had a sign on your door saying you weren't there, so he canceled your appointment. And I went, I, I said, you're, you're kidding me, right? I'm very much here. I called you guys earlier to confirm the appointment. Um, you know, what the hell? So I had to have a new appointment for tomorrow set up. I'm, I'm very, very upset at them because this is just a couple different types of bullshit. And I can't take tomorrow off, so I had to ask my little sister to uh, be there for me instead. So that way she can meet them and hopefully I won't be required. Because I just, I don't have, you know, the time. Um, like, I don't have the time to go there tomorrow morning. I'm going to be working. Wrong address? I have no idea. I'm like, I confirmed my address when I called and yelled at them the first time. So, if they have the wrong address, they have fucked something up pretty damn severely. Hey, Mythbuster said that two bolts could not intercept each other like that. What the hell are you trying to pull, game? Okay, are we good? I think we're good. I did not even have a sign there. No, there was no sign. And here's the other thing. I was at the house for hours. So I was there, and I was watching out the window. Like, I was sitting right near the front porch, watching out the window, so I would see this guy. Dude never showed up. And the problem is, I've had this happen before. This is not, like, the first time that I've had a technician from Cox. Like, no, no, no. Not wrong address. Dude 
didn't do his job. He made up an excuse to not show up and do his work. Because what he's supposed to do is he's supposed to freaking call my ass if he can't, if he is having an issue like that. He didn't call. Yeah, slacking off is what I'm assuming because he should have called and like said, hey, by the way, I see there's a sign up that you're not there. Are you there? He didn't call. I just, I am beyond pissed. Because if they don't, if they pull this same shit tomorrow, which, you know, they might. What? I didn't get the second one? If they pull this same shit tomorrow, like, I'm really screwed. Because we, we're supposed to be actually doing the full move in this weekend, this this coming Sunday. And, uh, you know, getting, getting all of our stuff moved in. But I can't, I missed it again? I can't move in to this new house um, unless there's internet there because of my work. So it's just one of those like, okay. There we go, got it. Just wasn't time in the tongue correctly. So yeah, just very, 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 very irritated. That's why I was, that's why the stream started up late today is because I was, I mean, the stream would have started even later if he did show up. But, um, I just decided that I was going to have to live with that. I wonder if I can... No, okay. Can't do that. Get a new ISP? Uh, that's the unfortunate downside, is that there's not a lot of ISPs in the area. I do want to change over to uh, AT&T when, when I have the ability, because they're going to have fiber down here. Uh, and it's actually going to be cheaper than my current um, than my current uh, internet. But they don't have fiber in that area yet, unfortunately. So I still have to wait. 